Guys, I need to show you something very important. Look at this thing. Yes, I am indeed talking about the beautiful piece of shit on screen. These things are called Kamadolls, and these things I like to call the Kaiju Ever. And if you want to know why I call them that, it's because they can do just about anything. What, you don't believe me? Here. Let me give you some examples. They bite, they shoot beams, they explode, they do the dishes, they lead the Decepticons, they cause the residence cascade, they kill the worker drones, they stop the Fire Nation, they build houses, they attend beauty pageants, defuse bombs, live in a pineapple under the sea. <gasps> so yeah, I rest my case. And in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to train your very own Kamadolf. Yes, you behind the screen. As long as you're paying attention and follow the steps I give, you'll be having one of the strongest Kamadolfs known to man. So without further ado, let's get right into the training. Alright, listen here, you alcoholic centipedes, because I'm about to teach you tips to having a kaiju so strong that Godzilla Ultima fears it. No, like, I'm serious. I'm, I'm not even making this shit up. I actually made a Godzilla Ultima run. This high-level Ultima is swimming to the tunnel to hide from this beautiful piece of shit. Hi. Oh, God, no! 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 Ah! 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 Good job, Kamadov. The red is delightful. So what's the first step of training your Kamado? Well, let's start. Step one, bank robbery. It might sound stupid, but you have to think realistically for a second. You can't expect to send someone with a non-fully developed brain into combat and expect it to do well. It's like sending Caillou to World at War on veterans. So what do you do to see how intelligent the baby is? Just fucking give it a gun. This will be the deciding factor of whether or not your Kamado is smart enough to fight for its own or stupid enough to blow its fucking head off. All right, put the money in the um, you're facing the wrong way, sir. Uh, Alright! Give me the money! Oh no, someone call an ambulance! But not for me. Oh no. <sighs> okay, that didn't go as well as I thought it would, so we're just gonna move on to step two, which is ignore step one and just headbutt everything that moves. Even though Kamadov has a pitiful 460 damage per headbutt, it actually regenerates pretty fast. So constantly headbutting people like a pissed off turtle is not that bad of an idea. Then again, you do have to be careful because that's not a lot of health. Step three, time your explosions. Kamadov's third attack is a and when you use them, not only does it slow players, but it deals 1,250 damage, which can be very helpful, especially when you're starting an ambush to surprise your enemy. Step four, chores. There's not anything helpful with this one. I just wanted to say something. Step five, use your beam wisely because, because, because your beam can easily save your ass if you're in a pinch being the strongest attack out of the three moves yeah there's not a lot so while you can use it at the start to get some heavy hitting damage off i just recommend using this because it seems to do its job pretty well and lastly step six when all else fails intimidate if you see you're asking manhandled all you have to do is press r and let the game take the wheel. Nope, oh, okay, it's not working. They think you're nothing but an ant. But that's when you start the real carnage. <laughs> and that is how you train your Kamadov to be the best. Like, no one ever was. Oh, wait, Ash is gone. In all seriousness, though, even though Kamadov is really lacking in the attack department, he's just... okay. But to be quite honest, I don't really care. Even though he's lacking in variety of attacks and very easy to explain, there's something really charming about this kaiju, just looking at it. Can't believe I'm saying it, but I'm actually gonna miss this old model. The only other model that I miss that's actually old is Frostgojira. Then again, we got something amazing in return, so it doesn't really matter to me. Basically, what I'm saying is that whenever a kaiju gets a remodel, I don't tend to care about the old model. It's almost always I don't care about the old model, and then some of them I'm glad I don't have to see again. So me saying I'm going to miss an old model is quite the rarity. But to be honest, I don't think anyone cares about my opinion. <laughs> It's a baby with a gun. 